Hi, grasshoppers. I'm excited for another class with you guys today. We got some really fun stuff that we're gonna be working on, but of course, we have a little concentration counting to do. So come on down, have a seat with me right over here, and we will knock this thing out. Now, for today, we're gonna count to, hmm, how about 12? Now you guys are professionals, you know how this works. Your job is to have your hands on your knees, your eyes closed, and we'll count together all the way to 12. Once we get there, we will count backwards all the way back down to one again. All right, here we go, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, guys. I like how this ninja right here was particularly focused. Very good job. Excellent. Now, let's bow into our class and make it a great one. And you know we have a cow joke for you. So what do you get when a cow jumps on the trampoline? You're gonna get the answer at the end of class. So here you go, guys. You can repeat after me. Everyone say feet together. Feet together. Hands by your side. Hands by your side. Eyes straight ahead. Eyes straight ahead. And bow. And bow. Turn and face the flags. Right hand over your heart. Cookie barre. Cookie barre. Paro. Paro. Good. Face the pictures of the Grand Masters. Konjan in. Chariot. Chariot. Kunye. Kunye. Face this way one more time. Chariot. Chariot. Kunye. Kunye. Good. Now, for this warm up today, you will need the help from one of your people at home. Right? It could be one of the bigger people there, or if you have like a brother or sister, right? And they're a little bigger than you, then they could help you out with this one as well, okay? If you have a sibling at home that's about the same height as you, then both of you guys can do this one together, okay? So go grab somebody that can help you out, and I'll see you right back here for our warm up. All right, now that you have your buddy with you and your partner, then we are going to make it happen. So Master Crosby, if you wouldn't mind coming right out this way. So this is the over under warm up. Now, parents, don't worry. I've got your back on this one. Okay, so Master Crosby is gonna play the role of the parent and I'm going to be the grasshopper, okay? So parents, your job is to go into a bit of a horse stance, just kind of spread your feet apart and grasshoppers, your job is to crawl under their legs. After you crawl under their legs, they will turn around and they're gonna give you a double high five. And then you're gonna do how many jumping jacks? Two. And how many awesome squats? Two. I'll show you kind of how this works. So as soon as this starts, I'm gonna drop down. I'm gonna crawl through my partner's legs. I'll hop up, double high five. And then I would do my two jumping jacks. Clap, slap, clap, slap and then two great squats. One, two. Then I'm gonna crawl through their legs again. Good, pop up, double high five. Two jumping jacks, one, two, two good squats. One, two. That is the warm up, guys. So here's what I would encourage. I want you to try to crawl through their legs as many times as you can in one minute, okay? So instead of a still shot here in a moment, I'm gonna put one minute up on the clock and let it roll. And so parents, you can help them by counting the number of times that they crawl through. All right, guys, so have some fun with that one and I'll see you right back here in a moment.
That is not an easy warm up, is it guys? But I'm proud because I know you're working hard out there. Now, that was the first round. You have your number, the number of times you crawled under their legs. We're gonna do a second round. Now this is gonna be the final round and your goal is to try to beat your score. So the first time, if you crawl through eight times, this time I wanna see if you can get to nine. If you were like super fast and you crawl through like 15 times, man, I wanna see if you can beat, beat that number as well. So one more round of the partner over unders with your jumping jacks and your squats. Work hard guys and beat your score. I'll see you right back here. Good work, good work. Let's let that heart rate come down a little bit. We'll cool down for a second with a little bit of a stretch. So go ahead and put your hands on your hips and hip circles. Nice. Move in those hips. Other way. Good job. Arms out of the side, arm circles backwards. Ah, nice, big circles. And forward. Go up, back and forth across your chest. Link your hands together, trunk twist. Good. Hands back on your hips, head side to side. Looking left and right. Up and down. Spread your feet out to the sides. Lean forward, one hand on each foot, and repeat after me. Say, Hana. Hana. Tu. Tu. Set. Set. Net. Net. Tase. Tase. Yase. Yase. Ilga. Ilga. Yoro. Yoro. Aho. Aho. Yo. Yo. Very nicely done, guys. Face right up this way. Chiviet. Cognac. Grab yourselves a quick sip, and we'll come right back into our main drill. All right, guys, so we're gonna dive into our main drill, which is a build a combo challenge, okay? So you're gonna need a target of some variety. If you have a square target, that would be perfect. If you have like a pillow, also perfect, okay? So Master Cosby's gonna help me out. She's gonna be holding a target and you're gonna need like a relay point. I'm using a cone, but I think a stuffed animal would work pretty nicely for this one, okay? So Master Cosby's holding the target for the very first round. I'm gonna go up to the target and I'm gonna do two palm strikes. Now remember, on palm strikes, fingers together, thumbs by the side, right? I, ideally, I want my palm strike to come straight out. And one of the things that I look for with students is I kind of keep an eye on their elbow. If their elbow's behind them and moving in front, then they have good motion here. If their elbow's not moving, then they're really just kind of slapping. So those are some things that I look for with good palm strikes. So I'm coming up, good. One with one side, one with the other. I'm just gonna run back, tag my touch point. Then I would come back here and one, two, two good palms and tag. 
Good, two good palms, and tag. If it was like a stuffed animal, then I could pet the stuffed animal, or maybe just the dog happens to be laying there. That works out just fine, okay? So you may have noticed I made my touch point pretty close, and that was mainly to stay in the frame of the camera. If you want a little bit more space or you wanna do this one outside, that'll work out great, okay? So for the first round, I would say, you know, parents help them count out maybe doing 10 rounds of this. I'll put up a still shot so you can pause the video there and let them do 10 rounds before we move on to the second round here. All right, for round two, we're gonna add in a little bit of defensive movement for the hopper, all right? So when they go up to the target this time, their hands are up, they're starting with those two palm strikes, just like before, and notice how Master Crosby kinda has the flat side of the target pointed towards me. That works out great for these palm strikes. So I'm coming in, one, two palm strikes, and now she's gonna make a big hooking motion, and I'm gonna squat under it. Notice how I didn't just duck. When that's coming, I wanna be able to see it but I still want to squat under it. Then I would run back, tag the cone or pet the dog, coming back here, two palms, one, two, squat under it, boom, and tag. And if what you're using is pretty soft, it's okay to actually aim to hit them in the head, right? In fact, I found that ninjas kind of like getting smacked a little bit, right? So it's okay, you don't have to dodge them. If they're a little slow on it, one, two, oh, okay. I might get hit sometimes and that's part of the fun too. All right, so get 10 rounds of that one in. We'll come back for the next round. All right, guys, for round three, we are adding in front kicks, okay? So when we do our front kick, again, Master Cosby's gonna have the flat side of the target pointed towards me, and oftentimes I will angle that target so it's pointed right towards like their belt knot or their belly button height. If you keep it super flat, sometimes it can be awkward to kick if it's up high. So I'm gonna come in with my whole set. It's gonna go palm, palm, she's swinging. I duck under it, I'm up here, front kick, front kick. Run back, tag my cone, I'm right back here again. Palm, palm, duck, good, front kick, front kick, now I'm out of here, tag. Two palms, squat under, two good front kicks, guys. Work that 10 times, and I'll see you right back here for the final round. All right, guys, we're here for the final round. We've done two palms, we ducked, we did two good front kicks. We're gonna add another duck to it, and then we're gonna finish strong with a jumping front kick. Man, ninjas love jumping, so let's make this a great one. So my whole sequence, I'm right here, palm, palm, squat under, front kick, front kick, squat under, big jump, boom! And I jump front kick. Then I drop back, tag the cone, and I would reset again. One more time, one more time. Good, palm, palm, squat under, front kick, front kick. Oh, it's coming again. Good, big jump, boom, and kick. That is gonna be our sequence 10 times, 10 times. And it's okay if they have a dominant side on that jump front kick. You can encourage them to try both sides, but I found especially with younger ninjas, they really favor one side, okay? Have fun with that, and we'll see you right back here. Good job, guys. Awesome work with our main drill. We're gonna play a little game. Now, it's been a while since we've played Ninja Hands, so I wanna go through that one again, and I wanna add a little bit of a, a twist to it, right? We've had kind of a reaction theme to our class today where we've been squatting under some of those strikes, so we'll incorporate a little bit of that into our Ninja Hands. So if I can borrow Master Cosby again, this time, to the best of my abilities, I will be the adult, and she will be the grasshopper, okay? so. She's gonna have her hands on her hips. I'm pointing the noodle kind of right at her nose. 
Her job is to try to hit the end of the noodle before I can move it. Boom, nice. Really good. Perfect. So while she's working this, of course I am gonna try to pull it away and try to keep her from hitting it. But at some point I might swing through and she would have to squat under. So we're here, she's swinging. Nice, oh, that's pretty good, right? I'm always a fan of a consistent speed for the swing. I don't wanna just be like automatically just accelerating through them and I don't wanna go fast and then slow down. I wanna go at a pace that forces them to really dodge, right? Oh, she's gonna hit good, nice, good. Wow. Oh, got her a little bit. Of course, you can always swing faster or slower depending on uh, the speed of your little ninja and that will encourage them to get better, right? If you're feeling really froggy, you can incorporate highs and swinging through low, okay? That really requires them to keep their feet a little closer so they can spring up a little bit faster. So that is gonna be our game. And with that, guys, hope you have a great day. We do need to finish our cow joke. And that one was, what do you get when you put a cow on the trampoline? Get a milkshake. A milkshake. I, I have a feeling many of you guys have heard of that one. It's a classic cow joke. So thanks for coming to class. Thanks for working hard. And I will see you guys really soon.